We have some uh, big breaking news coming in after Shamanur Shivshankar Appa's sexist remark on a Davan Gere BJP candidate. Indian ace shuttler Saina Nehwal has now criticized the grand old party for its misogynistic remark, sparking further outrage against the Congress for its statement suggesting that women should remain confined to the kitchen. Remember viewers, it was yesterday when uh, senior leader, seven-time MLA and a prominent Lingayat face of Karnataka, Shamanur Shivshankarappa, stoked a controversy by making a sexist remark on Davan Gere BJP candidate saying that instead of entering the Lok Sabha poll battle, she must be cooking in the kitchen. This is what uh, Shamanur Shivshankarappa had said. And a day after that, Saina Nehwal, Indian ace shuttler, has now criticized the Congress party for endorsing such sexist remarks and for not taking action. She also says that uh, she also speaks about the laurels that she has brought for the country as an ace shuttler. We have uh, Prajwal joining us live. Prajwal, after Shamanur Shivshankarappa had uh, made sexist remarks yesterday, today the Congress party is facing blowback because ace shuttler Saina Nehwal has, uh, you know, in fact reacted to this saying uh, that this is something that the Congress party shouldn't be indulging in and she also speaks about uh, her uh, contributions to the nation's success as well in her arena, being a woman that too. No, absolutely. There has been criticism from all quarters as uh, well, cutting across party lines, cutting across various fields in where uh, women have gone on to excel too because uh, let's all know for a fact uh, that, you know, they, they are equal as well and uh, that has already been, you know, spoken about every now and then too and that is something which uh, needs to be understood uh, by somebody like a senior leader like uh, Shamnur Shivshankrapa as well. And uh, we were expecting that there will be some sort of apology which will be given by Shamnur Shivshankrapa but so far uh, no sort of apology has uh, come in from him and already a complaint has been registered with the State Election Commission too and it will not come as a surprise even if this particular issue is raked up even with the National uh, Commission for Women as well and they might even ask uh, them to go ahead and lodge uh, an FIR as well. So all said and done now it uh, looks like you know uh, there's absolutely some sort of problem for Shamnu Shivshankrapa too and uh, meanwhile DK Shivkumar as well earlier in the morning went ahead and spoke and stated uh, that uh, Shamnu is uh, definitely quite a senior leader of uh, the Congress Congress party and he should not have spoken about it and uh, the Congress party will not stand by such statements and uh, he should have gone ahead and made uh, this uh, personal remark too. So all said and done, uh, yes, uh, you know, people going all out against Shamnur Shivshankrapa and he's not even receiving uh, support from his own party as well. So now we will need to look in as to what will be the sort of action that will be taken against Shamnur Deepak. Well, Prajwal, what is even more shocking is that... Uh, you know, D.K. Shivkumar, the Deputy Chief Minister, has downplayed it, saying that uh, it is just a humour. We'll play that reaction uh, for our viewers, but it's time for us to shift our uh, focus on another breaking news that we're currently tracking, because uh, the BJP Election Manifesto Committee, Defence Minister and Senior BJP Leader Rajnath Singh was made the Chairman of the Committee. This is the big breaking news that we are currently tracking. BJP has announced the Election Manifesto Committee, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, and will be the chairman of the committee. Now, the manifesto committee will be involved in formulating the manifesto for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections with the BJP will release its manifesto very soon. But ahead of the manifesto, Rajnath Singh has been made the chairman of the manifesto committee. Remember viewers, the Lok Sabha elections are right around the corner and BJP making another big announcement for its manifesto committee. Rajnath Singh, the defence minister, will be the manifesto committee chairperson. This is the big baking news that we are currently tracking. The BJP has also invited suggestions for the manifesto because the manifesto will be centred around the demands of the common public and uh, a key person in the formulating of the manifesto will be the chairman and the BJP has announced that Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will lead the committee 
on uh, the formulation of BJP's Lok Sabha poll manifesto. In fact, the BJP has also named 27 member panel Nirmala Sitaraman. The finance minister Piyush Goel will also be part of the uh, uh, panel. Anil Antony has also been roped in. Remember, Anil Antony recently defected from the Congress. He has been uh, also picked for the Lok Sabha election and he will be part of the manifesto committee of the Bharatiya Janata Party. In fact, other chief ministers such as Himanta Biswa Sarma, Mohan Yadav have also been included in uh, the panel which is led by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh. So all of their opinions and the mood on the ground will also be sought before the BJP releases its official poll manifesto for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. But right now what we know that a 27-member committee has been appointed and the chairman of this committee will be the Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, Nirmala Sitaraman, uh, the Finance Minister along with Piyush Goel will also be part of this all-important panel of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Remember viewers, it was just a couple of months back that the Prime Minister had also